and I'd see his trailer in one theater and he'd see mine in another. And that's been years and years. And today at noon was the first time I had the opportunity of meeting Tommy Scott. Tommy, come on over here, buddy. You'll be seeing this guy on the network get real soon here. Yes, sir, you're absolutely right. Uh, you remember it was the long theaters down in uh, Texas and over in Arizona? Yeah, right. And we never met, but uh, we'd, we'd uh, play the theater. Of course, they'd run a Western, and we need to swap mics here while we're right. talking, too. Right. And we'd, uh, we'd go in, and they'd run a Western movie, of course, and then, of course, we'd do about... Uh, yeah, there you go. We would do, a, like... Uh, uh, about 30, 45 minutes stage show, and then you had to sit through the movie. You did about five a day, Pee Wee. You remember that, don't you? You run the Western and the previews and the whole deal. Then they'd run his trailer. Of course, the trailer was the ads for the show that was going to appear the next week and so on. And uh, all these uh, years back in Arizona, that had been, should I say, maybe 40 years ago, I guess. <laughs> At least. I'm the youngster then. You're just a youngster like that. And today's the first time we had the opportunity to meet each other. And back all through all these years, I've never had another job except for the medicine show. When I was uh, raised on the farm up here in North Georgia, and old Doc Chamberlain came to my hometown, and it's pretty rough to make a living out there digging around corn and cotton with a hole trying to dig it out with a barefooted and cut your toes every once in a while. I said, there's surely got to be an easier way of making a living than that. Doc Chamberlain came to town, uh, to Tacoa, Georgia, every year with his medicine show, and uh, the tradition of the medicine show is to always do a beauty contest and an amateur contest, so I throw my guitar around my shoulder and went up, and I got there too late, and he hired me. He said, well, I'm going to, I picked him a number two, and he said, I'm going to put you on about three weeks from now. He said, he said meet me down in Everton, Georgia. When I got to Everton, the hitchhiked down, and I got to Everton, Georgia, and he was working on the platform of the show out on the courthouse square, and I said, uh, how do you do, sir? How are you getting along, uh, Doc Chamberlain? He said, who are you? You know. I said, well, I'm the boy you hired three weeks ago. Oh, he says, I do that in every town. He said, do it in every town. Since you hitchhiked in here, your bed's over the over the steering wheel of that old truck out there. He hired me six dollars a week, and I slept in the wagon. And I have never had another job in my life except. Uh, with a medicine show of some sort or other. It's gone through several phases during, during the years. And uh, the old man uh, in 1936 gave me the formula to the Herbalac laxative compound, and uh, which is made out of herbs, roots, barks, and berries. And he also gave me the formula to the snake oil, which uh, everybody has heard of snake oil since 1890 when it was put together. And uh, we pitched it on street corners and so on, and then we got a little sophisticated, and around 1940, 45, we got uptown. We put it on radio stations around all over the country, and that's the first time I met Pee Wee King. He played in Tacoa, George, and came on over and did a, a, a few numbers on the medicine show there, sponsored by Them Herb at that time, I believe, the one we had out of Anderson, uh, South Carolina. And I have known old Pee Wee there for all these years, and we never crossed trails too often either, but it's very nice to see him here today. So the jam pitchman, uh, he's just brought the jam pitch box. There's three types of medicine show for you that don't know what, what the medicine business is all about. No, no doubt a lot of you, about everybody, has seen some sort of a medicine show in the movies or on TV or so on. But now, now if a crowd of, say, 800,000 people, I find there's always 30 or 40 that still remembers when the old-time medicine show came to town. Three types, one is the big tent shows, and it's a free show, and they pitch the bottle of medicine. That's the way they pay the bills, you see? And the second type of medicine show is the one like I have now. My medicine show now carries about 15 performers, and it's called the platform medicine show. We still have the lanterns and do the pitch and the sharpshooting and the whole bit with magic and everything that the, the tradition of the medicine shows used to, used to do years ago. Then it comes down to the jam pitch one, and this is what's called a jam box. Now, the idea here, the, the pitchman was the pitchman, he was the doc, and he was the performer. He'd set this up mm -hmm. over the courthouse square uh, when a court trial was going in. The old doc had to create attention, so he'd ring a bell or two and play a little guitar, do a little magic to create a crowd, and then he could pitch the medicine. Now, if he didn't happen to have a license for that town, you see, and somebody called the police, and uh, they came down, while well, he, he kept on with that pretty quick. He could pack the thing up, that's why it all folds up in there. He'd pack this thing all up, and. By the time the police got down, where well, he had the store folded up and he was out and gone to the next step. So that's the reason they called it the jam pitch. 
So that's the three types of medicine show. And now then, we kind of cut out. We worked the radio thing for years. And now then, uh, Charles Corral, about two years ago, came out and did a CBS pickup on us. And we've been on well the Today Show and uh, uh, PM Magazine two weeks ago on nationwide television. Uh, the Smithsonian Institute has took a study on medicine shows. And I play 350 different towns a year throughout the United States and Canada. And this will be my 50th year when we get back this year. I've been doing it 50 years when we get it back in the barn this fall. <laughs> the general story of the medicine show. Now, uh, during during this time, we picked up and we still keep the tradition of the medicine show, do medicine show songs, bits and so on. And little songs start off with, get up, baby, y'all all sound like ain't ever heard, but let's try it. When the medicine show back in town, it's the medicine show back in town. Never heard of the hands on the
could get the people up just as close around the platform as they could. And in order to do that, they start talking sort of low, like, you know. And the people say, what do they say? What do they say? They get up a little closer. You can't sell, I mean, we can't sell some guy a bottle of medicine if he's sitting over across the street under a shade tree, you know. <laughs> so they get him up real close, and the old doctor nearly scared to death by saying, hey, look just the way that's got last real old time medicine show. You know, if you're feeling down and out, and you don't know what to do, and it seemed to work. Don't crush you and your friends turn their back on you. Nature's pathway to help will help you. Fry a bottle of snake oil today. Rub it on as it's plain the direction, and it'll change your aches and pains away. A little small rubbing in the morning and another noon at night. Why you don't feel so well? You'll want to yell. Woo! The stuff will make you right. Made out of herbs, roots, barks, and berries, and gathered from many parts of the globe and blended into one mild yet strong mini myth. It's yeah. good for the family, the old folks, kids and all, and sold on a money back guarantee. There goes a bottle to the left, and one to the right, one to Pee Wee over there, one to Cal over here, and the old doc's done sold out again. Thank you.